First Lady Melania Trump made a rare appearance at the White House today, as she hosted a ladies' luncheon in the state dining room in honor of International Women's Day. The White House also announced that there would indeed be an Easter egg roll this year, which will be held on Monday, April 17, as it's tradition to host the event a day after the Easter holiday. At the luncheon, the First Lady was dressed in black and not the red many protesters are wearing in solidarity today and was given a standing ovation when she entered the room. Reporters on site were pulled out of the luncheon before they were able to hear Melania Trump speak. Spotted, however, were Second Lady Karen Pence, Counselor to the President Kellyanne Conway, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos, Senator Susan Collins, Small Business Administrator Linda McMahon and First Daughter Ivanka Trump. While the White House is honoring International Women's Day, the organizers of the women's marches that took place the day after President Trump's inauguration planned a day without women's strike. Activists were encouraged to not work for the day and also not shop, unless they were visiting a women or minority-owned business. Others, unable to take a day off of work, were instructed to wear red. Democratic House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi led a group of female lawmakers outside to the Capitol steps to promote the cause. When women succeed, America succeeds, Pelosi said. And when women succeed, as my colleague said, the world succeeds. At today's press briefing Spicer said he wasn't aware of any women from the Trump administration participating in the strike. I think everyone that I'm aware of has shown up and is working really hard to advance the president's agenda, the press secretary said. They're committed to moving this country forward. As for Melania Trump, she has yet to outline issues that she plans to take on in her role as first lady. In the run-up to election day, Melania Trump spoke in suburban Philadelphia about the adverse effects of cyberbullying, but she has yet to make moves on any agenda surrounding that issue. She's also been slow to staff up, officially hiring just a chief of staff and a social secretary. As she still lives in New York City with the president's youngest son Barron, Melania Trump is a rare sight to be seen at the White House. She was, however, in town a number of days last week, as she hosted the governors at the White House for a glamorous Sunday night dinner, the same night as the Academy Awards. The next day, she made a cameo on Fox and Friends as her husband led the hosts into the White House library to show Melania Trump and her team hard at work. The First Lady then appeared, wearing a sparkly ensemble by Michael Kors, at the President's first joint address before Congress last Tuesday night. She'll also likely play a major role in the Easter egg roll, which is in its 139th year. In the past First Ladies have read to participants and appeared on stage along with the musical acts. They've also been on hand to greet the Easter Bunny, which, during the Bush administration, was once played by none other than Spicer, who donned the costume during W.S. last year in office.